Hello and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. My name is Alex Endress and I'm here at the Drilling Automation Workshop in London. Joining me today is Fred Florence with National Oil Well Varco. Fred told us about a student competition called Drillbotics where students compete to build a robotic drilling rig. Fred, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the people with uh, SBE DSATs decided that we wanted to try to encourage students to join our, uh, our effort. And we thought the best thing would be to have a competition where they build a, a two meter, six foot tall drilling rig, miniature rig that'll fit in one of their labs. And we give them a rock that's got surprises in it and they have to drill it in some automated fashion. So Fred, what's the structure of the competition? This is the first year we've had this, and as a volunteer organization, we had to figure out what can we manage as well as what can the schools and the students provide. So we started off with the first semester, fall semester, where the students did a design competition. And so that phase one was only to design this rig on paper. And then the schools that had the best design, we, we had a, a number of schools that we would fund for them to actually construct the rig. And then in May, they will actually do a test, and we will actually measure how well their, their rig performs. And what's the timeline for getting involved this year? Well, what we're hoping is to get the word out to a number of universities in, uh, in April and May of this year so that they can work with their professors and, and with school administrators so that they can put teams together starting in their fall term, have any designs done by Christmas time, and then move into the construction and testing phase next spring, spring of 2016. So what makes this competition unique? These students come from different groups within the university. And, and so we need somebody there from the petroleum engineering to understand the problem. We need mechanical engineers to build the rig, electrical and control engineers to be able to build the control systems. And for the students, they really get involvement from people that are outside their normal discipline. We work in an industry where everybody works on interdisciplinary teams. So these students really gain a lot of experience that's going to help them be our best future employees. And uh, we understand that you're still looking for some help with scholarship funding. And uh, how can people get involved if they uh, want to help out? Well, the first thing is we need people that just want to spend a little bit of time, not much, that would be coaches, somebody that can help these students through some of their problems, and can actually participate when we do tests to compare the performance of the individual rigs. So somebody that can go to the university and actually witness the test. And then of course the other is, we need, always need extra funding. So if somebody wants to put their name, their logo in front of the students that will really lead us into drilling automation in the future, this would be a very inexpensive place for them to have. Well, Fred, thanks for coming in to tell us about the Drillbotics competition. Appreciate it. Happy to be here. And thank you, viewers, for joining us today at drillingcontractor.org.